domestic production. And when I talk to a couple of them, they say, well, we're afraid you're going to shut down all the oil wells and all the uh, oil refineries anyway, so why should we invest in them? I said, we're going to need oil for at least another decade. And that's going to exceed. <laughs> and beyond that, we're going to need it. Production. If they had, in fact, invested in the production to keep gas prices down. And stuff. Make no mistake. If you try anything to raise the cost of presenting jobs, I will veto it. Banned assault weapons now. Ban them now. Once and for all. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And the State of the Union was this week, and we got this just wonderfully brilliant clip that came out of it. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if, if Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks. The idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond, <laughs> folks. I love that clip for so many reasons. Uh, it perfectly encapsulates the state of the union. You have the president who's going to get up there and lie. I mean, just bold-faced, verifiable lie. He's lying. He's saying the Republicans want to limit the size of the federal government. That's a lie. And the Republicans are shouting him down for that lie, right? They're like, Bo, we, we love big government. We don't want to cut Medicare and Medicaid, even though they should. The Democrats trot this one out often, right? That the Republicans want to get rid of uh, Social Security or make cuts to Social Security or get rid of Medicare, or cut it back or whatever. That's a common, common deal. He gets booed. Um, the president gets booed and then he kind of backs down, you know? If there was a scrap of anybody who actually cared about the people living in this country or the long-term health of this nation, they would scrap Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security tomorrow. That's over 40% of the budget every year are just in those three programs. And then the Republicans are happy to defend their love of the welfare state, right? These, these Republicans out here, they want, they want small government. Boo! We love our big government. I mean, that's, that's basically the, the equivalent of what's going on. I wonder if, like, Biden would have got up there, right, and been like, and the Republicans, they don't want to support our endless war in Ukraine. And they'd be like, Bo, Bo, we love the endless war in Ukraine. Nuke Russia. Right? I mean, it's, it's, just, it's so ridiculous, right? Uh, it's, it's so ridiculous, it's comical. You no longer have, again, a party that's interested in conserving the government, shrinking the government, limited government. You don't have that. No major political party, either between the Democrats or the Republicans, are interested in a limited government. Rather, they're interested in a large government, which will run your life with their random agenda administrated by bureaucrats throughout the system that hate you. That's what both parties are interested in. And of course, it's bankrupt and tanking the economy. That's a whole different other thing. But, right, the, the funny part is they're sitting here arguing about who loves the big government more. And Biden's going to be like, they, they want to limit it. And they're like, Bo, you know, and he's, again, he's lying, but he shouldn't be. He should be telling the truth. And people should be like, well, yeah, that's what we want to do. Right? So, and then, the, again, it just gets better. At the end, uh, Biden changes a clip, says something fairly indiscernible, right? Kamala Harris immediately stands up behind him and starts clapping, right? Because she doesn't know what to do. That's just, that's like her job is to stand up and clap when things seem to be going really bad. Uh, and then it cuts to, I think that's Senator Mike Lee, who's just like, what the, what the hell does it have to do with anything, right? Like that, that is a perfect 
clown show encapsulation of the state of the United States of America. And that's one of the reasons we are past the point of no return. We've been covering this this whole series. The leaders of this nation no longer have any concern whatsoever about the longevity of the nation, about the health of the people of the nation. They don't care. They want to treat the system as an endless piggy bank until it completely and utterly collapses. And that's what they're going to do. And that's one of the reasons there's no going back from this. This is going to crash and burn, and there's going to be something else after. And the something else after part is what you have to prepare for. Build strong local communities and governments now, so when the collapse comes, you can ride that bump out just a little bit better. Do brave deeds and endure.